Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, today's the day I reveal my lunchbox. So, let's get harvesting. So, this is my uh, polytunnel, greenhouse, whatever you want to call it. Here in the UK, they're polytunnels because they're made of polythene. And all the leaves now have been taken off uh, well most of the leaves uh, help uh, prevent blight and any that haven't done well uh, they've been removed uh, a lot of these tomatoes here uh, we don't know what they are at the moment uh, people are helping me out we've got some lemon boys which i think i know what the lemon boys are now we'll get to those there's that orange one uh, in the screen there and uh, we'll uh, we'll get and these are the shop bought ones these are on the third or fourth year and they are the best tasting tomatoes I've ever had. They're even sweeter than, excuse me, no I'm not going to eat it, <laughs> just going to blow this compost off. So this time of the year I would normally have um, uh, a few tomatoes, uh, then we'll move on to a nice lemon boy hopefully that's what it is uh, we've got two or three plants uh, like that oh just can't help it these are really nice as well so that's in there and uh, we'll take a cucumber yeah it's not very big but when you've got uh, lots of them why shouldn't we so I wouldn't normally harvest like this, but for today, I'm just uh, trying to do it uh, three-handed. Again, as soon as you turn your back, uh, the uh, these uh, do grow really well. Uh, so is that one any good? Has that gone over? We'll just double check that. But uh, that just sits, uh, sits nice. Actually, it don't look a very good colour. So we'll, we'll take that one. We can trim that one up got some uh, Joe Long peppers here now I'm going for long uh, it's measured from tip to end and that one's going to be no good so we'll uh, we'll uh, take that one and I've uh, bit my nails so I can't get those off so we'll take that and uh, we don't need many salad leaves but I uh, hope the colors coming out on the, those but uh, it does amaze people at work when uh, I turn up and they can see uh, what I've got these are the bull's blood beetroot again a lovely addition to uh, anyone's uh, lunchbox this is just started good to seed the leaves on this don't normally taste too bad And uh, here's the ones that we uh, excuse the post these are growing really well now so we'll take a little bit of rocket and we'll take a little bit of that that'll be enough lettuce for today so that's all the clean items I've got another ice cream tub now uh, we'll uh, definitely have some carrots and some uh, radishes uh, but the square foot gardening as you can see you don't need much just to uh, Uh, I think these are Nantes. Uh, as you can see the board at the back uh, I'm gonna have that s sliding in and out and uh, I'm gonna try and find a markable marker that uh, stays on the uh, yellow it's supposed to be in double markers but they still end up uh, coming off so there's nothing else in this bed so we'll just move on to um, the next one and uh, we've got some uh, Diane radishes there so we'll have two of those uh, white icicle not quite ready there have we got some more elsewhere oh yes one of those will be plenty but these square foot gardening beds are ideal Uh, must take the spring onions uh, in order these are died back at white lisbon 
Um, they've got a cracking root growth, but uh, they died off a little bit early, I think, or just hasn't suited uh, suited them uh, this year. Mustn't forget the uh, New Zealand uh, spinach. Um, you can eat the stalk, but I'll take the leaves off that. Put that with the clean material. These are my onions, I'll have a small onion. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a small one. I've just uh, got uh, a couple of Sparkler 3 Radish and uh, I've found a, a better size. Now, you, people who don't know, I'm always saying it nicely in my lunch box. Uh, so that one uh, will be better than that one. That one can be used at home to be cut up. Right, now we need some fruit for me fruit pot. And what better than uh, a nice uh, bunch of grapes. We'll take that bunch of grapes. So to the grapes, we can uh, add some uh, really nice uh, black currants and uh, you know when they're ready, it's just one twist. If it doesn't break, leave it well alone. And the wasps don't normally find the ones that are hiding under the leaves. So we'll get a few of those. And then we'll add some summer uh, autumn fruit in uh, raspberries. Again, they've come very early. And with all the uh, natural organic fertilizers that I use, nitrogen, uh, which is manure runoff this year when they started to grow. Oh, drop that one. And then uh, they had a comfrey feed about two or three weeks ago. And that uh, just uh, plumps the uh, fruit up again. The weather this year has been awful. Once it gets uh, wet, hello Mr. B. What are you doing? Oh, thank you very much. As always, we need to look after our pollinators. That's why I've got a wonderful wildflower and uh, wild live pond. And I think I've still got one apple left. Oh dear. Well, that's blooming now. Never mind, never mind. I'll cut that in half and uh, it won't go to waste. Well, doesn't that look appetizing? Yeah, I'm gonna keep you waiting. But this is the sort of container that I use um, for my uh, fruit pots. So we can uh, add a few batteries these will be fine I haven't got to wash these uh, but, uh, yeah we'll get all those in and uh, just to make it really look colorful we'll stick a, an autumn uh, gold in I'll be eating that later guys when I cut the uh, rubbish off and uh, we'll just add a few the grapes they're still a little bit Heart, should we say? We don't do anything with anything with them other than eat them. There's not enough. But as they become more ripe, and then the flies start to get at them, and you know that flies land on boop. So it always makes you cringe a little bit. But this year we haven't uh, had too many issues. So that'll do nicely. Lid goes on, and that would normally go straight into um, the fridge. I'll finish those off uh, later on. So next, we'll go to the. Uh, I'll, I'll get the other bits washed that are dirty. So for the long-awaited reveal of my lunchbox, there we go, guys. So that's the sort of size um, I normally take to work. These are not hygienic conditions. I'm just showing you uh, exactly what. Um, I would normally do the knife is not the best but it just gives you an idea of, um, of what I do 
and uh, yeah it would be clean so New Zealand spinach it's been absolutely great um, the Kiwi uh, Greg I think it's Greg oh, I can't remember he keeps prompting me saying <laughs> that was me who said use New Zealand spinach it can be got in this country many of the seed uh, companies do it and it's got a lovely lovely texture uh, I'll take it off the stem but yeah great and anything else that remains goes in the compost we, we haven't got a problem with that uh, we'll get a little bit of rocket in there a little bit of that uh, lettuce normally gets a quick, quick quick rinse get a bit of a selection a cucumber and I'll tell you something cucumbers that size are to die for um, needs washing before I do and excuse me on that uh, the Joe Long uh, peppers take the seeds out I'm not uh, overly struck on those again this would be done in uh, better conditions than this but it just gives you a bit of an idea of what uh, what we grab out the fridge uh, tired of the tomatoes up but uh, these yellow lemon boy tomatoes are to die for I'll be uh, growing those in my over tomato overwintering tomato challenge uh, for anyone that wants to join in so that's those crops uh, the um, white icicle that will just go in I've got to wash everything now guys before I can actually eat that uh, normally peel the uh, the carrots and I normally do two days uh, lunch box at, at a time so the other half would normally go into the other box uh, we've got the Diane radishes again you can tell whether the radishes are good and not woody how the knife goes in the uh, sparkler 3 have also been good and you can also tell when you put the knife through them how good they are the Diane don't seem to get as much um, fly on them so, spring onions tidy those up give them a good wash hands are dirty now but we'd uh, pile a few of those in We would normally prepare an onion at home in a controlled way into a tub and we just uh, help ourselves to it. But I do like a little while wiping it on my shorts, they're as dirty as uh, the knife, and I'd normally stick a slice of onion on. everything that here would go in the compost bin don't mind putting a little bit of onion in that's my lunch box how do I keep it cool on these really hot days well I've got a, a, a keep it cool um, freeze, freezer bag so you go to your shops you get your freezer bag and put your frozen stuff in so what I do again Here's the bottles, reusing them. They get reused before they come to the allotment. Um, tap water, top them up. One of these goes in the freezer for two days to start with, and then it doesn't thaw out. I wrap it in a tea towel, peel a cloth, goes into the bottom of the bag, and then the water that I take out of the fridge that's cooling goes in there. In, including uh, that lovely apple. Uh, pity about that. Should have picked it now, shouldn't I, guys? I was waiting to do this video and I didn't pick it. 
and uh, yeah let's say we we waste very little even the stuff we buy from the shops so let's just uh, move that round <coughs> so that is my lunch box that's how I keep things cool and uh, I would normally have one round uh, batch whatever you want to call them wherever you live it doesn't matter even in the UK everybody calls them different but it's just a, a, a little round loaf uh, cut in half and I would either have some cheese or some uh, meat uh, I do eat meat and that just keep me going for about uh, 12 hours uh, we'll take, uh, I do have five pieces of fruit a day as well and uh, obviously the grapes, raspberries, blackcurrants will be three of them uh, half an apple <laughs> but we don't mind sharing honestly uh, but I hope you've uh, found that interesting uh, now when uh, I talk about my lunchbox you'll know exactly what I'm talking about especially you Babette and everyone else that um, thought it quite funny that I was going to get my lunchbox out today well you've seen it now it's not funny <laughs> but it's very wholesome and everything that we grow it's national allotment week this week and that's what it's all about growing your own sharing your surplus uh, and everything else so i hope you're having a good national uh, allotment week uh, i'm going to be on live on bbc radio coventry and warwickshire at the end on the saturday at the end of national allotment week not sure of the date but I believe people out of uh, my area in the Midlands, uh, Coventry and Warwickshire, can uh, uh, log in. Uh, I think it's going to be around about 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock live on uh, BBC Radio Coventry and Warwickshire with Richard. He visited my plot uh, last year and uh, even Shafali the weather girl uh, visited my plot on National Allotment Week and that was live on BB, uh, BBC or Central. Central New, yeah, Central New, no, BBC Midlands today. Uh, and I'll drop that uh, into uh, the uh, end cards uh, at the end if you want to have a look at me pooping myself and sharing the vegetables uh, which we shared with Shafali and uh, her cameraman for the day. Please consider subscribing if you've uh, liked the content of this video. Uh, I like to share and uh, interaction please make a comment the comments are so important for us all to learn and i do enjoy my growing spaces i'm off on holiday this week so i'll be finishing some diy so you'll get some diy videos and uh, these little snippets of things that people have asked for and if it helps one or two people then uh, that's my main uh, main aim take care my friends happy gardening to you all and don't forget any area can be turned into a, a, a growing space uh, find out in your local community um, search for national allotment week and find out what it's all about happy gardening to you all till next time my friends to rough and air Opening, opening all this shed space up and I've made a start on it. Considering this wood's 10 years old, it's done, uh, this ply is done very well. We'll be reusing that somewhere else. Look what I found up the side. <laughs>